a glass workshop sits empty. Its owner, Stalin Robles, is serving a six-month sentence for protesting against the government. After taking part in protests sparked by dissatisfaction with government policies, such as bills that allow mining as well as tax increases, Stalin's brother, Gabriel Robles, is flooded by memories when he comes to check on his brother's shop. I thought jail was for people that steal. We were shocked to see how he was detained, how brutal they were. He's not a thief. The Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, known as CONAIE, is leading the fight to demand an amnesty for those they say have been jailed for defending human rights. There is a new scenario in Ecuador with the next leader. We have developed a strategy on how to discuss these big issues for the new region through a campaign pointing out criminalization processes and most of all an amnesty that has to guarantee freedom of all those processes. We can all seek a new political scenario in Ecuador. There is a skepticism about the possibility of dialogue with Ecuador's newly elected government. But activists like Maria Fernanda Tanay still volunteer across the country to collect thousands of signatures, which will be presented as Lenin Moreno takes office as president. I think it's pertinent for Ecuador to know what is really going on. One of the main things, through media, that this government has done is to naturalize everything, to perceive everything is OK, that people are in jail, and that is perceived as a common, natural thing. Lawyers and citizens continue to draw attention to these cases of imprisonment through both legal and public means, with hope that this amnesty campaign will hold more weight as Ecuador transitions into a new government with Lenin Moreno as president. Carolina Loza León, TRT World, Quito, Ecuador.